don't you tell us a little bit a, a little bit about parkour? Um, because I guess it's not um at least for me, I haven't heard of it until I stumbled across like your videos and you hearing you talk about it. Um, so uh -huh. like, oh, what is parkour? Oh, it's it's a martial arts thing. I didn't know that. So I'm not sure how popular it is out there. So just in case, like, why don't you give us like a little overview on what exactly is um this sport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, par parkour is just um. I, I think the official technical definition of parkour is getting from point A to point B as creatively and or efficiently as possible. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, I think I actually, that does ring a bell. I think you did mention that in your video. Like, okay. <laughs> Sorry, my sensory memory. <laughs> Bad. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, um, uh, um, yeah but uh, uh, that's parkour. Uh, it's um uh utilizing your surroundings to get uh physically from one place to another and uh, uh it's not uh martial arts per se uh but it, it uh, oh. uh, it's i guess it uh, reminded me of martial arts when i first looked it up or saw you doing it yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no they they um they uh, it, it can definitely be it i mean they're both uh, connected right it's uh it's it's just um i'm uh, interested in movement uh, as opposed to like one one thing parkour or just this or that um, uh, but uh, I started out with parkour I got I was doing that um, doing that a lot and making videos and stuff but but now I um, I sort of I moved away from parkour and now I'm really into martial arts and, and so, um, like, um, kicking and doing uh, uh, fancy jump spinning kicks and um, all that kind of stuff. And um, as opposed to, like, jumping from, from a roof and rolling or uh, running up to the – climbing up a thing and then jumping onto another thing, you know. Uh, but uh, – so I've kind of moved on to um, – uh martial arts kicking fighting all that kind of stuff uh and and i've started to make uh, videos about about that too um uh, i i have like another s second channel uh where, where where i make fighting videos martial arts videos and <laughs> so yeah that's what i'm um bottom line for me i just love uh movement always have and so that's um that's why a lot of people type me as like bro you, you uh istp estp or yeah. some sc dom like since yeah yeah. Type. <laughs> yeah yeah as an sc dominant because like but um but i think that's just um that's just uh because of my childhood um me and my brother were very just athletic and uh, we love to just go out and um, we actually did uh, um, gymnastics as kids. Uh, so I guess um, uh, um, I had kind of that um, foundation. And from there, I just uh, um, continued to do, you know, parkour. And then I went from went from parkour into martial arts and, and, and things like that. So, yeah, I just love movement. I love to like... Uh, pursue and seek to try to do a physical movement like um, perfectly and, and to make it look beautiful and you know all that so yeah do I guess think that comes naturally to you um, being coordinated and very attuned to um, your you know movements and doing it well like do you think that kind of Kind of comes naturally to you or does it has it been something that you've had to like really work on um in practice um i think uh i think um how i, I, I was always very naturally um just uh good with physical stuff um, physical things um um i don't think it's because i'm like a s uh, uh se dominant i uh um, but since I was a kid, my, my dad would always take, um, me and my brother, like, okay, he, um, let's go on the playground. This is how you climb, like go climbing. Uh, he'd take us rock climbing. He'd take us all this. 
signed us up for gymnastics and stuff. So that, so I think that's why I have that. And, um, and that's why I've always been good at the physical movements. Um, not because I'm an SE because I, I, I don't, I don't think I am <laughs> at all. Uh, but, um, yeah, I've just, uh, been very naturally, um, good at that stuff and, and how to do like how to do these kicks or this flip or that kind of thing. Um, even though I'm I'm still very lacking, like some uh, sometimes I think, man, I'm so good at all this stuff. I'm so good, but then I'll watch a video. I watch about you know some guy doing parkour or like a, uh, some acrobats doing their thing, and I'm just like, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, but yeah, that's I guess that's. How do you I handle would, challenges like that? Um, when are you someone who tends to get very um, like when you see a challenge, like I guess in this context, like a physical challenge, um, and you realize how behind you are or how much you need to work on? Does that do you tend to get more discouraged before you have to kind of you know push yourself a bit, or do you immediately get the or is it easy for you to you know get motivated to um, overcome that challenge? Like how do you handle those sorts of things? Uh, good question. Um, uh, well, I, I kind of go th through like uh, a, a sequence and it's like the same sequence for like, <laughs> but uh, um, if I, um, for example, um, like I said, if I uh, watch a video and, and I see how good someone is and I think, oh man, I suck. I'm, I'm not as good as them. Um, I, the first stage for me is uh, to get e extremely discouraged and I just and I just plummet down into a oh man wh why am I even wasting <laughs> like why am I even wasting my time practicing this when I I like um, there's so much to look and I get kind of um, overwhelmed and I think there's so there's so much to learn and to do and, and I'm like barely scratching the surface with what I'm doing like what's the point even I should just give this all up. But then like after a couple of days or something, I'll be like, all right, just, well, just keep going. Like maybe if you learn these uh, basic movements, if you get them down, uh, maybe um, you'll be able to then do this and, and go there. And um, I've actually um, gotten to do many things that uh, I wouldn't expect that I could um could have done so but but that's just me like well even if i even if i'm terrible at this or i'm just barely scratching the surface right now i that doesn't mean i um i should stop i should just keep going and like why not you know it keeps me um uh, if there's any benefit at least it just keeps me active you know it just keeps me to you know physically moving and exercise is good for you at, at yeah. least so so might as well just keep going and and I could at least get better from this point even if I don't achieve all the, all that crazy stuff you know so but yeah it, it's kind of a at first I just get super depressed and I hate myself <laughs> and then <laughs> but then a couple days go by and I get back into it and I'm like okay That's and then I then yeah. I and then I get back up to that point of, oh, I'm so good. And then I drop down again after <laughs> watching like a YouTube video. And then it's just a, just a cycle, you know, <laughs> yeah. like everything. Yeah. But you make progress at least, you know, four steps up, two steps down and then four steps. Yeah. You know, <laughs> at least there's progress though. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you four tend to learn best? Oh, go ahead. Were you going to say something? Oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't good. Uh, do go you ahead. tend to learn best when you're, um, watching someone like um do a movement or a technique or something and then um focusing on trying to mirror them or like copy them or do you do better when you just work on the movement yourself like do you do you feel like you need to watch a lot and try and like learn as you watch it and focus on you know your surroundings as you do it or do you do you tend to learn these movements better when you're just focusing in on yeah without much watching and without um, without having to like watch over and over again like oh no i i um i definitely uh need to like watch it and and like 
Um, I, um, the primary way that, that I think that I learn is by just watching and, and observing people. And, th and that's why I think um, I'm also so fascinated in um, personality types and people and, and psychology is just like the observation and like the looking back and like, why did this person yeah. say say this the way they said it why 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 do they do things this way why do they go about <laughs> like this way uh, just just like watching people is fascinating to me and so also that um uh, that's a big component in in the physical like parkour and martial arts mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. yeah um i do this thing where i um like if it's a video um like a youtube video or something oh and there's like a certain kick or or a jump that um that someone does i will do um i'll screen record it and then i'll go on my um on the screen recording i i could like go very slowly in slow-mo and just like like ev just look at the movement super carefully like okay his foot was right there and then his his foot a second later is right there and then and then at the end of the movement his foot is 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 like this way and so oh okay i didn't notice that before because i've yeah. been doing it when my foot lands this way so, so you now pay careful I, attention when you're watching before you try and learn the technique or as you're learning it oh, oh yeah, yeah 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 and yeah and i think that's um that's also one of the reasons why i'm uh why sensing is not my type because um like it doesn't like uh, you can't just watch something remember it and then just do it like because that's what right, i was right. thinking my, my theory was basically like whether it's an se or si dom like sensor types in general might have more of a easier time just watching it and then just doing it um not having to like go back to it a bunch of times or observing it as um intensely as yeah. maybe the intuitive types might um, that's kind yeah, of yeah. I have to like as much as I hate it like I have to actually yeah I have to kind of do what you do is basically like observe right. and watch every nitpicky thing before I can actually get even close to you know <laughs> um mirroring right. it well yeah yeah exactly I have to watch it look at it carefully um use like um use ti or whatever <laughs> um uh, be like logically what is like um what are they doing as as opposed to um what i'm doing um what are the differences there like think about it rationalize about it mm -hmm. beforehand so which uh, i don't think is sensing <laughs> you know so uh i guess if but, you have to calculate um yeah or, or, maybe, huh? or maybe it is i don't know <laughs> but um maybe that is sensing or or maybe that's just me like using other functions to to get to to sense <laughs> you know <laughs> so. i think the act of actually just watching and consuming like the like watching the person move and trying to do it is sensing but actually trying to calculate like say you're in a in a say you're doing this with somebody and you're like in a fight with somebody and you're trying to calculate their next move. I think that involves a bit of maybe NI, maybe some NITI, like you're calculating, okay, what, like trying to predict their next move based on a logical um, understanding of how this person can fight, like based on your understanding, your TI understanding of how this person is or how they might, how, what their technique could be. What can you NI yeah. predict their next move? Like that part is probably a bit, but like the actual part of just, watching them and actually engaging in the movement itself is i guess sen is just sensory i would say yeah yeah i do you do you do like martial arts or parkour or something no <laughs> i i mean uh, there was a huh uh, i was gonna say it, it, it kind of sounds like you do because of the way you talk about it you talk about it like someone oh no no <laughs> no i i mean i li like from a theoretical standpoint, I can talk about it, but like, no, the closest oh. I've done was just, what was it called? Aikido? I don't even think that's considered martial arts. 
Uh, the um, weird hand I, movements. I, I don't know. Um, Aikido, right? Aikido, I, yeah. It was a long time ago, and it was only like barely a month of that that I did. I don't even know what. I think my I think my mom forced my brother and I to join it or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't really that interested um, myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay I have okay. I rarely have any memory other than just there were some weird hand wrist movements that I was learning and maybe some somersaulting here and there, and it's like. What was I doing? Um, <laughs> I don't even remember. Um, right. Yeah, right, my, right. my only, um, I mean, I like the idea of doing it, though. Um, not sure if I, yeah. would ever, if I would ever do it, but I like the idea of it, <laughs> the intuitive idea of it. Um, right, so. exactly. That's that's the thing with me, too. I love the idea of almost yeah. absolutely everything until yeah. I try it. And then, <laughs> and then I'm like, I don't like this, but I like the idea of it. But I... But I hate actually doing it. But I, yeah, <laughs> when you started talking about how much you like movement, I was like, yeah, me too. The idea of it, at least, <laughs> I don't like actually. Yeah, I can't right. say I actually like doing the move. Well, no, I mean, okay, when I actually do get myself to do the movement, I'm actually, I actually enjoy it. But the initial yeah. motivation, like the initial push, is just, I don't know, why is it so hard? <laughs> it's like yeah. the closest that I do. I mean, the closest thing that I do to, I guess, exercise or physical activity is just dancing. Um, but even then, I, I'm such an amateur at it. Like, I just, I freestyle dance. I, I'm really bad at, um, like, watching someone move and then trying to mirror it. Um, oh. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have to kind of do, like, kind of like what you described. I have to, like, watch the video over and over and over and over again and then really, like, pay attention to what movements they're doing in order to actually coordinate um, the movements properly myself. Um, yeah, okay. It's a lot easier to just freestyle and do whatever like um, comes to mind, whatever, whatever the flow, wherever the flow goes. Um, that yeah. way, I can actually engage in movement without having to be so like <laughs> sensory focused. Really, well, like it's like I get to engage in the sensory without having to have much sensory focus. Um, no. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it, uh, um, but that's but that's very. Um, uh, N E and S E of you to 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 be very like you know just freestyle and to, and to do yeah and just yeah freestyling freestyling is definitely a good N E S E out outlet <laughs> you get the S E from just randomly engaging in chaotic movements and you get the N E um you get the N E experience of just being creative with whatever spontaneous movements um come to mind it's yeah pretty fun. <laughs> Do you think yeah. in um, your martial arts, like uh, in your martial arts training or uh, whatever activities that you do related to that, do you have to engage in a lot of like um, on the spot um, reacting and spontaneously like reacting to your surroundings? Or do you think it's a lot more court, like you have to be a lot more um, structured rigid. and routine? Oh. Yeah, rigid. Like how would you how would you characterize like the rigidity and the spontaneity of um the activities that you do uh, uh that's a very good question um uh, i haven't really thought about it before but um now that you ask it um, i guess it's um when i when i uh first like um started doing um parkour and like martial arts and all that stuff i had um i i was not doing a lot of uh freestyling like Im improvising spontaneous stuff um because i'm just like learning it and so i was just trying to to just like be rigid and just do this move ex exactly this way because um because uh that's the only way to get it right so that's what i was that's what i was doing just being rigid um and like but the the, the more that i the more that i do it i and the better I get at like doing um, these types of movements, sometimes I just find myself just like just jumping up and then like just adding adding on like another kick or like also doing this and also doing that. And I'm like, oh wow, this is cool. And so I move from like um, the sort of like TE, like trying to control myself to like practice and to do it what um i i moved from that into uh 
S E N E, uh, very like um, improvisational, able mm. to just, uh, cre you know, spontaneously, yeah. Like so you, you have said. to start out like when you're initially learning it, you have to start out more structured and routine because you know you're just learning mm -hmm. it, you're just trying to get acquainted with the whole like process. But then as you get more comfortable, you can be more spontaneous and sporadic. And I guess it sounds like I don't know, parkour, like the way you, the way you describe it, it sounds like it would require more structure and rigidity. Cause like, you know, getting from point A to point B, like how much how spontaneous can you be with that? You kind of have to do some calculating <laughs> structure yeah. um thinking yeah. um, when you're doing that. Otherwise it's I don't know. It sounds kind of dangerous to just go on the fly. I mean, I guess it's possible. Like, if you're a if you're a mad SC dom or something, you can probably do it. But yeah, right. Yeah. Whereas with martial yeah. arts, well, I guess even with martial arts, if you're doing it by yourself too, it sounds like if you were to do it alone, you have to be a lot. You can incorporate a lot more like structure and um, uh, rigidity to you know the and more like organized coordination with the movements. Whereas if you're you're in a fight with somebody, for example, and you're, you know, competing with against somebody. Like there would have to be a lot more sporadic, on the spot, improvising, like action. I guess, um, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, it, uh, it just depends on. Um, it just depends on the context of what you're doing, and. Um, do you do yeah. martial arts with other people, or do you? tend to do them just like by yourself as a individual sport yeah. um, uh, for now i'm just uh mainly a self-practitioner mm -hmm. i am uh, um i have um i have friends who are martial artists and so uh but but they live far away but but uh when uh, when we can um it's it's just so awesome to like do things with them and like have um, have a person there and like yeah you're you're learning it that way and it's it's just so awesome mm -hmm. but uh uh mainly yeah i just have to um be by myself uh i i really want to take classes uh um, um, and be like actual like get actual official formal uh, martial arts training but i just haven't had either the time or the money to do it but i'm hoping uh in 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 the near future i um i'll probably have the opportunity to do that so um and so i'll i'll have that the um the other person there and to do it with other people which will just be awesome i don't know i just i i, I feel so like i feel so fulfilled uh doing it like whenever I make a that's fight awesome. video. Yeah. Whenever but yeah, that's, that's cool that even though you're not taking like classes or anything, like you still have the motivation to still do this on your own to the point where you're actually making videos about it. Most people it's like, oh, I don't know crap about this sport or activity. Why would I make videos or waste my time, you know, doing so much on this when I haven't gotten like training or anything. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's cool that you've gotten that far without, you know, having to have any professional like um, training. Right, yeah. How has um, how has engaging in parkour and then subsequently martial arts like helped change you as a person? Like, um, how would oh. you describe your personal growth um, since you started and progressed through this? Um, uh, that's a very good question. Um, uh, I think um, it has definitely uh, made me like a lot more uh, disciplined. You know, um, just like saying. And, and like um, disciplined and committed uh, um, to the um, to this thing. Like sometimes I uh, I feel like man I don't really I don't I don't want to do this at all uh, uh, today or like um, I'm I'm just really not feeling it today. But feeling um, low in willpower. Yeah, but yeah, but then. I'll ask myself, and it's so weird because um, when I, when I, um, it's like I made like that, I'm just like compelled to keep going for some reason, you know, like it, um, cause I, um, uh, there was this um, moment where I was just like uh, totally 
inspired uh, to do this and where I decided like, okay, I'm gonna like be doing this mm. and I'm gonna, and so like since then, I just like, I haven't been able to stop doing it. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh, I really don't wanna do this today. Or like, oh man, maybe I should just quit and just not, and just stop doing this. But, but for some reason I'm like, like, no, uh, don't you remember at that moment of, of inspiration that you had and like of how awesome that was. And I uh, like, um, what I tell myself is that no, like you, you want to keep doing this. You, you should keep doing this. Like you have to, try. Um, if you want to get to that point of, to, to the point that you want to, to your goal, that means like every day, like training commitment. So like, like do something today, at least do some stretching, do some, do some practice, even if you're tired or not feeling, uh, uh, feeling it. So, so it definitely has made me a lot more disciplined and committed. So, yeah. And, and just, uh, tr trying to, to, to keep on working at doing something more perfectly and more perfectly, um, I guess is one indication for me that, um, the, um, that I am doing this for the glory of God's glory then yeah um, uh, rather than just like like um, well I'll just do it when I like really feel like doing it or when that moment comes and I just really want to do it but you know but that's not like you putting any effort to to try to do it perfectly something perfectly it's just it's just like do doing something random or mm -hmm. yeah do you think the motivation yeah. to do it for the glory of god is probably the biggest um mo motivator to that's helped you um uh, hone the discipline to keep doing this um like how much how much would you like how much would you say like has that played a role in it like would you say it's the biggest motivator or are there other things that you use to like you know motivate yourself or to discipline yourself to keep at it or yeah that's a good um i mean I've, uh, I've always like um, wanted to do this because of just how cool it is and and for for my own like um, pride and glory like to to be like a guy who is super cool and and, and like um, gets a lot of respect for for being able to do these things and that's that's mainly um, the the reasons for why I wanted, I've, I've always wanted to do it, but um, lately in my life and kind of since that moment of um, when I, um, like I said, I had this moment of um, inspiration of where, and like since then, it, it's been like, to try, trying to do it more and more for God's glory. At first, it 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 was still like a like I'm just doing this for myself because I want to be yeah. um, super cool and for my own glory. But lately, it's like, well, um, like that's gonna end and that's gonna stop, and it um, there's there's almost um, no point. To, to doing it for myself mm -hmm. because you know but 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 if i'm doing it to just to like to to add on to add to the world or to give people something you know and then it yeah. then it totally changes and it totally changes my mindset and, and and that's a much bigger motivator it's yeah it's a much bigger motive than than just than just for myself but no that's um, good that you bring that up like do all for the glory of god that's like that's like my life verse right there it's like um yeah the whatever you whatever you do whether you eat drink whatever you do do all for the glory of god like of course yeah somebody in a sermon was talking about yeah okay eating and drinking is as basic as we can get 
But if we um, are called to do even the most basic things for God's glory, whatever it is that you do, whether it's as basic as eating and drinking or as big and grand as being like a champion of, you know, martial arts or being this professional or whatever, like do it all for his glory. Um, it's like, yeah, like the initial inspiration can be, oh, you know, because I like it, because I feel inspired and motivated to do it. And that's not a bad, that's not a bad motivator. I mean, you know, wanting to be good at something because it'll make you feel good and, you know, be proud of yourself or something. I mean, that's fine, but yeah, it definitely can't be the biggest motivator because at the end of the day, hey, yeah. why, yeah, why are we, you know, why do we feel called to do certain things? Like, sometimes God plants desires in our hearts so that we can, you know, pursue these things um, for his glory with that passion. I mean, of course, that's not to say everything that we feel like doing is from God. <laughs> um, yeah. But I'm just yeah. saying, like, you know, um, there are definitely are times, though, when God does, you know, give us little desire, give us some certain desires and passions to do something. And, you know, if God calls us to do something, he wants us to be passionate about it. Um, sometimes it's easy to be passionate about it from the beginning, like maybe like in your case, like uh, martial arts or movement in general, like. That's just something you were you're naturally passionate about, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like some things that we're called to do, you know, and some things that he calls us to do, you know, we can get we can have we already have the natural passion for it. Other times, like he calls us to do things that aren't so easy to get excited for, like the discipline behind it. Like if there's something that requires a lot of discipline to do and to keep up with it, like you know, it's not something that comes natural. It's something that we kind of have to work at. So. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, it's supposed to be all for him, whether it's something that you enjoy doing, like, off the bat, or something that you have to train yourself to enjoy doing more and, you know, stay motivated and disciplined to do, like, regardless of how much um, natural inner passion and regardless of how much um, effortful, like, discipline you have to keep at it, like, as long as you're doing it for his glory, there's going to always be some inherent, like, sense of meaning and fulfillment from doing it. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one. It's, um, uh, it's also one thing that's made me um, tr uh, trust God a lot more because, like, yeah. if I'm um, actually doing this um, for His glory, then like, okay, then like, uh, doesn't matter uh, if I can't get if I can't get this move down yet or. If, um, it, he um he's the one who supplies me with yeah. with the the gift and, and the skill so um it just makes me to to trust him more and like all right it's all for your glory um you get to mm -hmm. decide what um uh, what i should be able to do or to not do and so it's just it's just a, a lot better it makes life a lot better i don't have to be like sitting around and pining and like super like um uh, recently um i'm getting a lot better at um like if i watch a youtube video and see some guy doing something really cool i don't get as discouraged uh, lately um oh, i just awesome. i yeah. yeah i just i'm a lot more um uh content uh, have um have a lot more contentment uh because it's it's like well like if i if i just keep going and god decides to you know then uh maybe i can get to that point or if not then then not so it's yeah yeah hey if this is what he's calling you to do he'll make sure you know you'll get to do what you need to do um see it through yeah everything. yeah um is yeah. there anything else you want to yeah. add to that um what how has that how has um how has these activities like helped you spiritually grow? Um, anything else? I, like that? Yeah, um, I guess uh, one thing that I wanted to add is that um, I guess the like the purpose of because uh, I think many people are asking like, well, what's the point of just okay, like you're doing martial arts or or you're dancing, you know, like okay, but what's the point? Like, is it just for, but um, I think um, it's it's uh, it's still beauty, right? It's like it's like, well, what's the point of a of of a like the Mona Lisa or like 
You know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. It, it's it's still art. It's beauty, and any any form of beauty is made is meant to make um, to make us to look at God. Um, For sure. Yeah. The, Amen to that. Yeah. Yeah. When we see this beauty, we're meant to um, we're meant to go. Oh wow, God, you're so awesome, and this is this is so great that you yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like anytime we see, yeah, I like that because it's so easy nowadays, especially even like um, a lot of Christians too would say like, oh, like don't get too caught up with beauty or um, riches and wealth and everything. Well, okay. Yeah. If you're gonna, if you're seeking them as a priority, yeah, no, but if you're, if you see them as, you know, gifts from God and you use, you know, beauty and wealth and everything and, um, glorify god with it um, always give thanks to god for it and never forget that hey ultimately you're here to serve god not beauty standards or um wealth or being like cool or whatever like it's all done for the glory of god you need to make sure whatever it is that you're doing to achieve whatever it is whether it's to achieve wealth or um something that looks cool or a certain like um technique or physical standard whatever you need to make sure that it's helping you get more passionate about God. Yes, you can be passionate about the thing that you're doing and the results that you're getting. Yeah, sure. It's great to be passionate and fulfilled about that and joyful about that. But ultimately, you need to be even more passionate and more fulfilled um, in God because he's the one who's given you the opportunity to do that. And he's the one who's um, yeah, the ultimate yeah. one responsible for <laughs> beauty and stuff like that in the first place. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> And it, it's not um, like it's just um, dancing for the sake of dancing or uh, it's not just um, the thing in, in itself, right? It's, yeah. um, you know, uh, it's always uh, supposed to make us to look at God. Exactly. And, uh, and like, um, like uh, when I had um, my moment of uh, in inspiration, uh, I was watching a Jackie Chan uh, movie. And um, I had always, uh, I grew up on Jackie Chan, grew up on <laughs> um, action movies, you know, all, all kinds. But like, um, there was this one particular moment where I was just, I was watching it and I had, um, uh, I just, um, just watching him move and like the choreography and the, and all that. It was just like, so, um, so amazing. And I, I, I just saw it and was like, wow, this I think is so awesome. Beautiful. Yeah. I, I just saw it and I was like, this is so beautiful. Yeah. And like, and, and uh, what boggled my mind was that, like, imagine like the practice and just the effort and just the sheer amount of practice and effort and, and, and willpower to, to mm -hmm. that, went, that went into making this look so perfect, which was just like, um, boggled my mind and so that's and so um, i had this like transcendent like wow moment and i was like okay i'm gonna try to do this because of because it's just it's it's you just trying to go out and do something perfectly you know and yeah. and, and and it's a reflection on the way that um, we're supposed to live life you know oh so, and that's good that yeah. you put it that way because it's like um the issue is when people do pursue certain things, pursue certain passions, you know, whether it's a sport or a hobby or, or a career or whatever, or any sort of goal, it can be any kind of goal. Um, the issue is when they make that goal a priority in and of itself. Oh, like I need to be the best at this because, you know, that's the most important thing in the world for me. Like, oh, I need to meet these standards for whatever, because that's what's most important. No, like it should be, no, I'm pursuing this goal. I'm pursuing this goal because it's, you know, it's something that I'm called to do um, for God's glory to bring me closer to God, to Christ. Like, um, you know, the goal in, in and of itself, like the goal is just, you know, a means to an end. The end should be, should always be Christ. Oh, and even in a way, like the means that you get to it should also be, you know, um, driven by Christ. Like, obviously don't do stupid things and say, oh, I'm doing it all for the glory of God. Like, no, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. He, yeah, just, yeah, he yeah. has to be the focus, like, throughout the process and as the end goal, like, the end, the ultimate reason, yeah. purpose for why you're doing that. 
Yeah, because that's what truly that's what truly um that's what truly builds um spiritual growth. Like um and that's what we're ultimately all called to do. It's like, yeah, we're all called to do these awesome things, but not so that we can live for those awesome things and be enslaved to them. Like, no, that's that would just be idolizing them. No, we're supposed to use these um goals, these tools to, you know, enhance our our devotion to him, help us become more loving and more kind and um, you know closer to him and um yeah more committed to like our devotion to him ultimately yeah 